Hey guys, how are you? Hello, hello. So just let me know, can you guys all hear me? Because I have my headset on and I wanted to be sure that you could hear me. Let's just see. Hello, hello. I'm waiting for everybody to get on. Hey, Amanda. Amanda, can you hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Hey, Kim. Hello, hello. Sound is perfect. Oh, yay. Hi, Faye. It's good to see you. Debbie Blake. I'm so excited. Okay, let me hide that since you guys can hear me. It's so weird. I'm using a whole new, like, thing. And thank you, Amanda. And um, and I'm kind of, I'm a little bit bummed because Danny made me a pretty um, little thingy. So cat can't hear. <laughs> hey, Janice. Okay, so wait just one sec. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Let me just cat the others can hear. Okay. All right. So I'm like totally excited. So I, yeah, so I got this this whole new like special setup thing and and now it's like I see more lines in my face and whatnot and and I forgot my hat. My hat is sitting over there. Wait, wait, I'll be right back. Give me a second. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I need my money hat. <laughs> this is like the only time that I get to be this silly. So let's just do it. Money does not have to be, let me hide that. Money does not have to be hard. It doesn't have to be serious. So let's not let it be hard and serious. So Welcome, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. Um, oh, hey, Joan and Sarah. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, so I'm really excited to be here with you guys. Uh, for those of you who are new, <laughs> hey, Tanya, um, I am Robin Badler, your emotional demon slayer and manifestation accelerator. As you can see, I'm not a scary demon slayer. <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, got, you gotta have the hat. I mean, come on. It's fuzzy. It's fuzzy. It's got dollar bills on it. Dollar, dollar bills. So <laughs> I'm really excited, as you can see. So here's how tonight's going to go. Um, I'm, I, first of all, <laughs> I would... Uh, I want to make sure, do you guys eat, does everybody have two bottles of water with you? Because what we're going to do is I am going to, um, oh, Sharon, that stinks. Um, well, yeah, catch it on the replay. So what I'm going to do is the first time I'm going to walk you through the process, I'm going to, um, I'm going to energize one of your bottles of water for you. And then the second time, I'll talk you through it. But you guys are going to do the actual work. So either two bottles of water or two glasses of water. Um, Tanya, you know what? For the first time doing this, I, I suggest um, still water just two, two water from, from the same source. So like, even if it's from your sink, that would be really cool. Two glasses of water will absolutely work, Kim. Um, I, I, you know what, I have to say, I'm really digging this new setup. I mean, with the exception of seeing every single line and pimple on my face, 
Um, and the camera's up here, so I have to remember to look here, not here, because <laughs> this is where I see me. This is where you see me. Um, <laughs> but the the comments come right up on my screen, so it's really cool. I don't have to like stop and, and move over to see everything, so that's really exciting. So um, just does every, oh, and then the other thing was pendulums. They're not necessary, necessary. We're using them as a diagnostic tool. That's all. So if you have a pendulum with you, if fantastic. And if you don't, don't worry about it. It's absolutely not a requirement. Okay. Um, the pendulum, what we, what we find is it just helps the thinking part of your brain, like the part of your brain that just want physical proof, right? It it helps that part of the brain to accept that change has been made. So give me some thumbs up or some hearts, y'all. I mean, let's just say there's 12 viewers, I guess. Okay, cool. So just let me know if you guys are ready, if you have your water, if you have your pendulums, if you're using it. Um, and, you know, maybe paper and pen. Um, higher time the charm, third time the charm, you mean? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so just, so just give me some comments. All right, so I'm seeing stuff over there. So that's the other thing. The hearts don't come up in front of me like they do when I'm doing the actual the regular lives. I have to look over here <laughs> for them. Okay, cool. Good to go. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, um, disclaimer, I did not create this process. Um, it was created by one of my mentors. Um, and then I, I kind of did my thing and tweaked it a little bit, um, <laughs> which I, I tend to do water pendulum pen. Good to go. Awesome. Um, I, I'm one of those people. Thank you, Kim, who, who likes to make a recipe one or two times following the, um, fo you know, following it exactly. And then after that, I kind of do my own thing, right? And oh, Joan, I will not be showing up on Zoom with this hat on tomorrow. <laughs> Just so you know, <laughs> will not embarrass your, you and your people. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, so I just I've just been playing with it and tweaking and um, and having a, a great time. Like we we tend to take energy work so freaking seriously and we, we want to follow every single rule. And then that carries over into our money stuff. Right. And here's the deal. We want you to have fun. We want you to have fun. We want things to be easy. Yes, I mean, there are times where you have to put some effort into stuff, right? I mean, look, I'm right there with you. I would absolutely love nothing more than to sit here, snap my fingers, and man, I wish I had like special effects right now because I would have all kinds of things going on. Um, snap my fingers and, you know, have the Maserati show up in my driveway, right? I mean, totally. But until we learn how to do it, it's highly, highly unlikely. I believe everything is possible. I believe that if something, if, that if you want something, it was divinely guided. I believe that if you want something, it already exists. The only reason that it hasn't been made manifest yet, yet, is because you haven't found the right combination of calling it in. That's all. You might have to release some belief systems. You might have to, you know, give up being right about something. Ah, yeah, a bit, you know, letting yourself be wrong. Just let that settle for a minute. Ah. 
<laughs> it's okay. Even for people like me who have huge, huge egos, you know, I, I wear my Leo like on like a big emblem on my chest, right? <laughs> hey Kate. Um so Kate, if you just got here, grab um, two bottles of water or two glasses of water from the same source, pen and paper, a pendulum if you have it, it's not necessary. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I'm all about wanting things to be easy. And to the degree where I can just wish it into existence. But as humans, we haven't gotten there yet. So we find a way around it. So the first is that that whole thing was, you know, just a reminder. I didn't invent this particular method. I did tweak it. The other part of that, what I was trying to explain with actually, without actually saying the word, so how about clarity? Um, this work does not replace the human work that you need to do. Okay, so we are energizing our water and purifying our water and and energizing it, um, programming it for prosperity to bring you prosperity. Okay, the water is not going to go out and get you the clients. The water is not going to create your Facebook ads. The water is not going to. Make your boss decide that even though you've been coming to work late every day for the past six months, that he's going to give you a $65,000 raise out of the blue just because you're cute, okay? The water is not going to do that. What the water is going to do is it's going to help you be more aligned with the energy of prosperity. Thanks, Kate. Thanks for letting me know. Um, with the energy of prosperity so that you can recognize the opportunities, so that you can see opportunities where you can call in the money. And heck, it might be a situation where, where you know, you just get the hit that you're going to play the lottery. And who knows, you might win, right? It might be $5, it might be $5 million. And it might be nothing, right? But the fact that you went and you played the lottery because you acted on that intuitive hit, what that does is it sends a message out to the universe. It changes it, it your your dominant energy is is connecting with the universe in such a way that it says, I'm willing to do what it takes to bring the cap to bring in the cash. So let's do this. All right. And then really quick, and with them, we're going to actually move into the process. What I want to remind each and every one of you is that the universe does not give a shit about whether or not you feel worthy. It doesn't care um, about whether or not you're good enough to have the money. All it does is responds to your dominant energy. You are a partner with the universe. The universe has your back when you have your back okay the universe punishes you when you are punishing you because it is meeting and matching and responding to that energy that's all it is not creating its own judgments it's not out there saying robin is wearing a freaking stupid hat and and talking too fast and talking too loud and being a weirdo, we ain't giving her money. No, instead, I'm having a good time. So what am I doing? I'm sending a, a, the energy of fun and joy out to the universe. That's my dominant energy right now. And that's what's going to get returned to me in one way or another. Not because the universe says, ooh, Robin wants it. Let's give it to her. Although I really wish that's the way it worked. Um, but again, because the universe is doing what it's doing, the energy is responding to the energy. That's it. Does that make sense to everybody? Now that I just yuck, 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 forever. <laughs> I just want to make sure that that makes sense. Give me some thumbs up, some hearts, say yes. Um, it's actually easier here for whatever reason the, with this as phenomenal as the system is, I don't see the thumbs up in the hearts, which is kind of a bummer because I love them. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Debbie. Perfect. Okay, so, yay, Lynn, you're here. You knew you were here. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so, awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. So, the first thing we're going to do, you can't see it, but I have my water, okay? Just Poland spring water, commercial water, okay? Um, and and so what I'm going to do is measure, actually, this is the one I charged. Let me show you some. I'm going to measure the life force energy of this water. Let me get out another. Like, ah, you know, gold, of course, right? Okay. <laughs> hey, Donna. Okay. So I have a bottle of water that I charged already. So that I could show you the difference in the, the vibration of the water, in the life force of the water. So let me measure this. So all I have, I just have a, a chart with some numbers on it, okay? The, it's, it's from 10, well, 0 to 400, okay? And the numbers are just, again, a diagnostic tool. That's all we're doing, okay? The higher the number, the more life force there is in the water. The more life force there is in the water, the more pure it is, the better it is for you, okay? So you can't really see it, but let me just get you some numbers. I have my pendulum. I can do, I can hold my pendulum here. That might be heavy, but we'll see. Or pain. Wait. Okay. Okay. So I'm just asking the pendulum. I'm, I'm asking, I, we call it the dowsing system. I'm asking the dowsing system to just give me, tell me what the life force is, what the energy, the energy level is for this uncharged, un- fixed, <laughs> unenergized bottle of water. Okay. 20,000. Okay. You just write it down. And so if you, if you're not using a chart, if you're not using a pendulum, just tap into your intuition. But like, this is why I'm doing it. Just, it, it gives me a physical, uh, I'm sorry if this freezes up every so often, but it, it, it gives me a physical, um, just a physical number to work with, right? Okay, so now here's my charge one. I know this is my charge one because I put a little green dollar sign on the top, but you can't really see. But, okay, so what is um, the energy level of this bottle of water? Let's just see, what is the energy level of this bottle of water? Let me try something. Okay. Is that okay? Show me the energy level for this bottle of water. So it's going, I can't really see, it's going here over to 390, right? The other one was swinging over here at 20,000. This is 390,000, okay? Oh, it's not freezing on your end? Yay, yeah. okay. Good. Thank you for that, Kim. So, what the heck did I do to make that happen? A couple of different things. Water holds a memory, okay? Everything has a consciousness. Let me start there. Everything has a consciousness. Everything, um, it, your thoughts, your beliefs, your feelings, actions gets imprinted on on physical things. It gets imprinted on, you know, the energy that you can't see and it affects its vibration. Right. So and it's why when um, when you have it's it's why when you've been in a room with a bunch of people who feel kind of down, you start feeling down and it starts sitting on you and it's hard to shake, right? Or when there's stuff going on in the world that's just not really happy and not really fun and you start feeling it as well, even though you're not right there. It's because it's making a, it's creating an, an energetic imprint, okay? 
And so that happens on the water too. So, hey Dawn, but what I want you to really get with this in terms of the water, okay, is your body is 70% water as well. So the memories of things that have gone on that affect the bodies of water in the world will have an effect on the water that you drink. And since you're since you, we, are 70% water, that water mixes with the water in our body. And so not only are, are you picking up the energy outside, you're, you're ingesting the energy as well, right? So this is also food and everything else. And this sounds gross, but so I live near a reservoir. So the fish are in the reservoir, it's, you know, the water, it, the water goes through a filtration system, right? But the fish are in the reservoir. People go fishing in there. People go boating in there, right? That's scary to the fish. So even though the chemicals supposedly get extracted before it goes, you know, when it goes through the processing plant, before it comes out of my faucet, it's not doing anything to remove the fear of the fish before, when they got caught, you know, when people were fishing or by the sounds of the boats or the fear of the birds when a boat went by. Or I, I haven't heard about this, but if you... um if, if you have a body of water where somebody drowned, that energy is sitting in there. Hey, Danny. So that energy is sitting in there. And all the chemicals in the world are not going to negate that energy. And you're drinking it. So we're clearing that. That alone raises the energy of the water. We're also going to be scrambling the frequency of, um, of the chemicals in the water. Now, this kind of water, often the bottled water, often doesn't even have the spirit of water in it anymore. It oftentimes has the spirit, contains the spirit of greed. You're drinking that. We don't want that, right? So this is a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to neutralize tonight. And then we're going to put in the good stuff, okay? So for the, for the people who are using tap water, I'm setting the intention tonight that when we do the energizing and the purification, et cetera, that it affects all of your tap water, all of your water. Now, sometimes it holds permanently and sometimes it needs to be regenerated, okay? We haven't figured out why. It's just something that happens. So if you discover that your tap water starts tasting icky again tonight, or not tonight, in the next couple of days, just run it through the process again, okay? So the first thing that I would really love for you guys to do is to uh, choose whichever bottle of water that, that I'm going to energize for you or glass or whatever, and I want you to take a sip of it because you're gonna notice a change in the flavor. And just give me some yeses or, or whatever once you've um, taken a sip of it. So I know that you've got it. And, <clears throat> and while I'm doing this, this is where you can kind of, you can start taking the notes. 
I'm just waiting to see. I'm waiting for the comments to show up. Okay. So Amanda took hers. Good. So that means everybody's got it. Okay. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. So the first thing I'm going to do. <laughs> Faith. Faith's an overachiever. She gulped. <laughs> thank you, Janice. Okay. Awesome. So the first thing that I'm going to do, these are going to be generalized numbers. They're going to be kind of, they're going to be averages. I'm asking for the overall level of energy of everybody's water. And so I'm just, I'm using, I'm just using the pendulum and, and the dowsing chart, the number chart to give me a starting number for us to just again, just to, so we can measure, that's all. Okay, so our starting, the overall, the average number is 50,000. You know what it tastes like, and we're at 50,000. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, and this is where you write it down, write this down, is determine if the spirit of water is present in your water, okay? So it is for mine, but okay. So is the spirit of water present for the majority of the bottles of water here today, the majority of the water? Okay, that's a no, it's, it's slimming, swinging back and forth. Um, Kate, the dousing chart, let me just write this down because I sometimes lose spirit of water is no. So, Kate, the dowsing chart is, um, you can get them really anywhere online. Um, this one is, is from my teacher. So, it's just, you just want to circle with numbers, right? And, and um, with the lines just for you to read it. And so, you can look it up online for a dowsing chart. And then we determine that this side is negative and then this side is positive. So, and that's all it is. So, like right now, I'm measuring the water. Um, if you know, let me let me be clear. If I'm doing percentages, this is negative and this is positive. What I'm doing is I'm just measuring values right now between zero and four hundred. Okay, so that's all this is. Um, you can even, if you're good at a com on the computer, you can make up your own. Right. Um, okay, so uh, Sarah, man, you're lucky. So, so if that is that where you got your water from? Um, did you get the water from your rain tank, your rain water tank? Because if you did, that's we'll be energizing that. Okay, so the spirit of water is not present in most commercial water. Okay. Um, now, is the spirit of greed present? Forward is yes. Okay, Sarah. So that'll get um, it'll get energized. So we have the spirit of greed. Is the spirit of of uh, fear present? Yes. Is the spirit of anger present in the in these bottles of water? <laughs> yes. Okay. Are there any other? Um, negative uh, emotional spirits in these waters, in this bottle of water? Yes. Do I need to know exactly which ones? No. Can I clear them all together as one? Yes. Okay. So that's good. So what, you, what I just did, first thing you saw me do was ask if the spirit of water was present and we got to know. So that's, you know, the, just the first thing that you want to know, because what we're going to need to do is now prepare the water so that it can accept the spirit of water. So that's why I asked if the spirit of greed, anger, fear, and other negative emotions were in the water. Okay. So. That was step two, is to determine that. So now all we're going to do 
is this is where it's going to take you're going to actually maybe hear me shut up for a second or watch me shut up for a second all we're going to do is neutralize those energies how do you neutralize them it's it's really um focusing right it's just focused um I'll say focus thought, focused intention. That's the word that I'm looking for. I use the pendulum. You'll see me use a pendulum again as a diagnostic tool. So we're going to neutralize, and it's already going, it's already starting. We're going to neutralize the uh, spirit of greed and its effects on the water, then its negative effects on the water. Um, we are going to neutralize the spirit of anger and fear and all the other negative, um, the spirits of other negative emotions. We're going to neutralize all of those, right? So it's just intention and, and, and I'm watching the energy. That's the best way I can explain it to you is I'm just, I'm watching the energy to see that it's actually going on and even though i'm speaking to you that's where my my main part of my brain focus is and the pendulum right now is simply just letting me know that the work is still in progress right so like this is where we i should be you know playing the <laughs> like like the Jeopardy music or whatever while we're waiting <laughs> for things to go on. Is this making sense to you guys so far? And and this what I'm doing right now is I'm doing this for everybody who's live for the for the first glass of water or a bottle of water for everybody who's live and this is active on the replay. So for the people who come back or the people who are watching this for the first time when it's a replay, know that it's working. And if you guys want to come back, it's all making sense. Good. And if so if you guys who are here live want to come back and go through it again and just put your bottle of water in front, in front of it and, you know, let me chat away and clear away, it'll clear your water for you. Okay. Okay, so we are almost done. I didn't, okay, it is done. So now what I'm doing is we're transforming the spirits, all those negative emotional spirits, we're transforming them into the energy of pure water, into the vibration of pure water. Okay, now I said this is prosperity, right? If we were just cleansing and clearing the water, at this point, that's all we would say. Just, just energize, just transform into the energy of pure water. However, I also want to include, um, transform it also into the most appropriate energy so that this will vibrate at the same frequency as prosperity. And as um, it's easy to call in money, that you have the courage to do what it takes to take the physical steps that will uh, bring you extra money and that you will attract prosperity in all its forms because prosperity is more than just money. Money certainly makes life easier, right? So we want to include it. But prosperity is also joy. It's happiness. It's fun. It's all that stuff that we really, really like. Okay, cool. So that part is done. So now I'm going to use a phrase that might scare you, and I don't want it to scare you. Okay. Um, I'm going to, so I'm going to be using uh, um, words referring to dark energies. I just, I want to see if there's dark energies in this water. It happens. It does happen. All right. So you know, we're not going to have like ghosts and goblins and, and, uh, and, and, you know, ugly, scary shit coming out and, you know, and invading your world and possessing you and all that kind of stuff. Okay. We're not dealing with that. Um, but that energy can still affect the water. So what I need for you to understand 
is that you're absolutely safe because if that has to be cleared, we're not doing the work. We ask the guides to do the work. Okay. So are there any, so remember this is going to be no and this is yes. So when you're watching the pendulum, okay. Are there any negative entities in the water? Are there any demonic forces in the water? Are there any negative thought forms in the water? There are negative thought forms. Okay. And are there any um, other negative emotions in the water? Yes. Okay. No, Lynn, they weren't. They have to be handled separately. Um, so we have negative thought forms. We have negative emotions. The other thing I'm going to check for, are there any negative memories on the water, in the water? Yes. We're just going to handle all of these together, which is why I'm asking these, these questions. Um, what was the other thing? Okay. So I did I talk to you about that? No. Okay. So now I'm also going to check for curses, hexes, and spells. Curses, hexes, and spells. Okay. It happens. And and the one thing that I say about curses, like when people go, oh my God, who would put a curse on me? You know what? We do it to ourselves. You know, I, it's like, but when you sit there and you go, well, I'll be damned. You just put a curse on yourself. All right. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to be cursed forever. Like your life is going to be, you know, ruined and whatever. But what you did was you dropped your vibration. That's all it is. Okay. That's all any of this is. It's just crap that drops your vibration, makes you feel less than whole, and then feeds the fears. It feeds the negative um, bullshit that's been that that's just been taught to so many of us, to all of us, programmed into us. So we want to get it rid of it, just like we do for our bodies, right? Okay. So. Are there any curses, hexes, or spells on the water? Yes. Okay. Curses, hexes, spells. Okay. So we have negative thought forms. And so what negative thought forms are is, you know, you, you know when you get that negative mindset in, when you get that monkey mind going and you can't get off that, that I'm going to mix all my metaphors. When you get the, the, the monkey mind going and you can't get off the hamster wheel, <laughs> right? And it, and it seems to get bigger and bigger and bigger, right? And you just can't stop it. And it builds and it builds and it builds. That's a thought form. That's a negative thought form, like these obsessive thoughts thoughts. They're negative thought forms, all right? We're all prone to them in one way or another, some more than others. It happens. Um, if, if you sit with it enough, you can make it manifest. Just like we work to manifest the positive, you can create like that self-fulfilling prophecy. You can do it. Like I, I hate having to say stuff like that to you. I really do. I want to sit here, wear my silly hat, throw some glitter around, snap my fingers, and make you all rich and happy, okay? But I can't do that. I'm not serving you if I'm doing that. I need to be honest. I need to be in integrity because all that other happy slappy, you know, I, I don't have to worry about anything, I'm just going to sit here and watch the unicorns fart in rainbows and be in my magic world that doesn't, you know, that that's not really happening right now um, and let everything fall apart around me, right? I can't do that. I just can't, right? It doesn't serve you. So I won't. I will not disrespect you like that. Okay. So. 
which is going to neutralize. And again, I'm just using this so, as a diagnostic tool. Oh, by the way, you can use a necklace. You can use a string with um, with a needle at the end of it, a thread with a needle at the end with, of it. I remember um, we're Italian, so I'm Italian. And so I don't know if it's only Italians who do this, but um, you used to hang the, the the needle on the end of the thread. And then depending on which way it spun, it told you if, if, um, if you were pregnant with a boy or a girl. And, um, and my, my brother, uh, my brother and, and his wife were, were pregnant when I first started this work. And um, I just used my necklace. I was like, all right, let's see what happens. And I predicted a boy and I was right. So they, they got freaked out with all that. Anyway, um, <laughs> so we're going to neutralize. Oh, it is that too, Kat? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So we're going to neutralize all the negative thought forms in the water, all the negative emotions in the water, all the negative memories, all the curses, hexes, and spells. So you see how fast this is going and how strong this is going? This indicates to me that we're clearing a fuck of a lot of shit, okay? <laughs> There's just a lot here. Okay. And when I walk you through you doing it, you know, I'm not going to be sitting here and stopping and explaining things where you'll, you'll move through it quickly. Okay. All right. So we're just going to transform that into the energy of pure water, into whatever the most appropriate energies are for you to support, to support your, your uh, prosperity to support your joy, to support your happiness, to support feeling confident, and to support being able to trust yourself and your decisions, and to support knowing when it's time to ask for help and knowing who to ask for help. Cool. Okay. Next thing. So let's write the next thing. Um, oh, yeah, this is kind of another not fun one. Uh, we need to ask, has anybody drowned in this body of water? No. Okay. If they did, you would just ask the spirit to um, ask if the spirit was still there. And if so, just ask your spirit guides to cross them over or her over. That's all you have to do. You, you're not getting involved. You're not doing any of the dirty work, you know, when it comes to any energy other than neutralization. Okay. Um, okay. Next thing we're going to do, scramble the frequency. And I'll say this slow so you can write it down. Scramble the frequency of all chemical, biological, and radiological pollutants. Scramble the frequency of all chemical, biological, and radio pollutants, uh, radiological pollutants of the water. So this is, you know, this is the roundup that ended up in the water. This is, this is the oil, the oil spill from the, from the boats. This is, this is, this is the fish poop. <laughs> this is all of it. And we're just going to let it do its job. La, la, la. I wish I could play music. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, adjust all of those energies to the frequency of pure water. And also the frequency of prosperity. Okay. Cool. 
Now, now we can invite in the spirit of water. We had to clear all of that out so that we could put the spirit of water back in to your water. Okay. <clears throat> so I forgot the mic is here. I'm trying, I'm turning my head so that I'm not coughing in your, in your ear and I cough into the mic. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> um, so how do you do that? It's super simple. You just ask it. You just, you know, okay, spirit of water, please come back into my water. Or whatever phrase you want to, you know, however you want to invite it back. Thank you, spirit of water, for coming back and entering my water. Thank you, spirit of water, for coming back and, and energizing my water. Thank you, spirit of water, for returning to this water and for staying. Okay. Okay. So now, now what I'm going to do is we're going to raise the energy of the water. It's already gone up because of all the work we just did on it, but now we're going to raise it higher. Okay. So again, so thank you for raising the energy of this water to the highest and most appropriate level to support the energy and spirit of prosperity, the energy and spirit of optimal health, ideal health, to support the energy and spirit of feeling confident and knowing how to trust myself, And, support, and to support the energy of courage so that I can continue to move forward in my life and live my best life even when I'm afraid. And then finally, we're just going to ask right now, set the intention that this water Um, energizes any water that it comes in contact with and raises its vibration to meet, at least meet this level or go higher. Okay. Take a sip of your water. And tell me what happened. Well, I'm waiting for that to come up. I'm going to measure the energy again. It tastes different. It's refreshing. Sarah, different, better, worse, or just different? The metallic taste is less. It's better. Well, dang, cleaner. So it feels like it tastes lighter, if that makes any sense. It does. Sweet, yep. smoother holy goodness right is this freaking crazy crisp light full body buzz refreshing how awesome is that isn't that like so fun like this is my what the fuck <laughs> okay a little fresher okay it feels alive and lighter So, Kate, it was, is your water um, good to begin with, or is it super, super, super bad to, to, to begin with? Kim, um, I'm pulsating. I feel it go down. That's awesome. 
That's really awesome. So we're gonna do we're gonna do your water now, or you're gonna do your water. I'm just um, but what I want to say to you is is this now. You don't have to keep if you're if you know you don't have to keep charging and recharging and recharging. Okay, so you've already so Kate, you've already got a super good quality water right there. So, okay, so, and there's still some change. So that's really, really cool. I'm glad to see that. Um, but like, you know, I take a cap full or just a little couple little drops, you know, I have the Keurig, sorry, the Keurig coffee maker. And I add that to, to the water that's in there and it just does what it needs to do, right? Yeah, no, I, I, that's, I think that's great, Kate, that, that you still notice the change. I think that's awesome. So, are you guys ready to do it yourself? Oh, wait. The first time we measured the water, it was 50,000. You want to know what it is now? 400,000. So, even though it does the number, what the number itself doesn't mean something. We just now improved it though by 350,000 points. Crazy. And that's with me sitting here chattering to you in this crazy freaking hat, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got gentlemen here. So we're gonna move a little bit faster because I'm I'm just going to be, giving you instructions. And if I move, if you have your pendulum and your pendulum is still going anti-clockwise um, before I, I transform, oh, Danielle, you tried it? Before I transform, the intention that I have set is that it will continue to neutralize and then transform and be complete by the time we're done. So don't worry if I'm moving on to the next thing before you finish neutralizing, okay? Just if it's going anti-clockwise and I say, okay, now we're gonna transform manually, make it go in the clockwise direction, okay? And, it, and it'll be okay. When you do this on your own, you're gonna wanna practice and take your time, but I'm setting that intention. Okay, so we already know that the spirit of, of the water is not present. We already know that um, the energy level of the water is 50,000 to start. And we already know that the energy of greed and fear and anger and other negative um the spirits of other negative emotions are in there. Okay. So just if you're using your pendulum, hold up your pendulum, hold your pendulum. If you're not using a pendulum, just hold the water in your hands. You can hold it against your heart. You can hold it against your head, wherever you feel like that you make the best uh, connection with energy. Okay. And so we are now neutralizing the spirit of greed, anger, fear, and all the other negative emotional spirits that are in the water. And I wanna stop because I want you to do it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna throw out some different energies for, for you guys to enhance your water with. Um, feel free to add your own. So now you should start spinning clockwise, right? If you're using the pendulum and if not, no worries. Uh, transform those energies into generosity, Courage, love, pure water, 
prosperity, feeling safe being prosperous, knowing that it's easy for you to make money and to enjoy it, knowing that you can make money and have fun, you don't have to suffer. Whatever else that you feel you want to put in there, that's positive. Okay. So next, when we doused before, we already determined that there were negative thought forms, uh, negative emotions, negative memories, curses, hexes, and spells. So um, before we neutralize them, let me just say really quickly, the reason that I'm having you do it on this new water is when I did the intention the first time, it was in such a way that it only affected this bottle of water or that one glass of water, okay? And for those of you who got the water from the tap or your well or whatever, I put it on that as well but not on this that you're working on currently. Okay, so um, we're gonna neutralize, <laughs> I'm so used to doing this. We're gonna neutralize the negative thought forms, the negative emotions, the negative memories, and the curses, hex, and spells that are on this water. So again, just, let the, the pendulum go anti-clockwise. And if you don't have the pendulum, it's just focusing and just knowing and just knowing that you're changing the energy of that water. Okay, next going to scramble the frequency of all chemical, biological, and radiological pollutants in the water. Scrambling the frequency of all chemical, biological, and radiological pollutants of the water. Okay, transform or adjust, adjust them, moving it in the clockwise position, um, direction. Adjust all of that to the frequency of pure water and the frequency of prosperity and the frequency that is ideal for you and your body's needs. And so what I do is I just um, I tap into the energy to see what frequency what frequencies we need. If you just set it to the frequency of pure water, you're fine. If you set it to the frequency of pure water, prosperity and love, you're fine. Okay. Now, um, the other thing that we're going to do is we're neutralizing um, the effect of the surrounding area on water. And I think I didn't explain this um, out loud before. Um, so the surrounding area is about eight miles around you. And so it all has its own energetic imprint and whatnot. And, and it imprints on your water. So I'm going to neutralize the negative effect of the surrounding area on the water. And so it's, you know, it's going back to that point of origin, wherever the, the water originated. Okay. 
And then we're going to transform that into the energy, into um, the energy of pure water, love, prosperity, ease, courage, trust, self-trust. Knowing what you need to do to, to um, attract more money and call more money in and just being able to do it without, without getting all resistant to it and worried about whether or not it's going to work. It's like just whatever energy that is, it just allows you to just go out and do it. You know, it's a non-issue. It's always an integrity anyway, right? Okay. Now we're going to invite in the spirit of water. So just use whatever phrase works for you and do it in the way that works for you. So if you have the pendulum and you feel like you need to swing the pendulum clockwise over your water, you do that. If you feel like you need to hug it against your heart, you do that. All of this stuff, like all this physical stuff, again, what it's doing is it's just making a, a stronger imprint on your mind so that it doesn't immediately negate all the work that you just did. Okay, so just call in the spirit of water. Thank you, spirit of water, for returning to this water. Thank you for being here. I ask the spirit of water to come back and return to my water. Um, how, you know, just whatever words, it's quick, it's simple, but whatever resonates with you. Okay. Now we're going to give thanks, right? We're going to raise the energy of the water to the highest and most appropriate level. So that just goes and, and just intend it. If you, if you wrote it down, repeat it, but it doesn't need to happen out loud. This again, this comes from the heart. You can spin. You don't have to spin. Um, so thank you for raising the energy of this water to the most appropriate level to help me to be prosperous, to help me to, me, and you can say me and my family, to help me to feel comfortable in my body, to help me to feel confident, to, um, to support my ideal weight, my ideal health, my ideal um, energy levels, um, so that I feel vital, alive, um, and full of hope again, or whatever other purpose you have in mind. And then the last thing you're going to do, you know, you pray, you just set the intention, however you set intentions, again, hold the bottle, swing, whatever. So the intention is that um, this water, um, that it energizes all the water that it comes in contact with to equal or exceed the energy of the original water. And this includes the water that it comes in contact with in, in your body. Um, we've been putting prosperity in there over and over and over again, but you can also include that there, you know, that this, um, energizes any water that it touch with, touches with the energy of prosperity or the energy of love, right? Because let's be, <laughs> let's be real. The water goes in, you're going to pee it out. It's going to end up in your toilet and it's going to end up someplace else again. Right. And so that energy of love, of prosperity, of courage, of all these beautiful things are now going to be spread out. You know, you thought you were just peeing. You're passing energy along. <laughs> I mean, it's just the way it works, you know? All right. Taste your water. <laughs> it's 
Sarah says, oh my God, that's great. So good, yeah. See, you guys did it. I mean, you know, I, I started to and then I didn't. Pressure again, see? You guys just did that. <laughs> How freaking cool is that, right? It even smells fresh. That's freaking awesome, Kim. Brilliant. <laughs> Did anybody in either with either uh, water, with either en time we energized. Oh, yay. Did anybody either experience it going the opposite way or no change at all? <laughs> You're welcome. You know, because stuff happens. There's still stuff still happens. <clears throat> I'm gonna drink my my water. You're so welcome. See, I'm telling you, we you know we we don't need to bother turning water into wine. We're turning it into money, and now you're turning your body into money and gold and whatever else. It really is good. I don't like water, and doing this, I drink it. This way, I drink it. Yes, I was gonna say that, Lynn. <clears throat> You can do that with food. You absolutely can. Mel, what's the what's the maybe? Did you not have um, a change? The second wasn't the second bottle wasn't as light, right? So, but it's practice, cat, right? It's just, it's just it's taking practice, and you guys. You know, you got to remember, like, I do energy work all freaking day long. So I can hold this conversation and six other conversations. And at the same time, I can be energizing your water, right? Because, I and mean, what am I doing this? 13 years? I don't know, something like that. So I'm, uh, you know, my brain automatically knows how to shift. Lynn, you know what? You can do it with anything. You know, uh, you, you just make sure the spirit of it, of it is excuse me, is in there. So when asking if someone has died and you ask the spirit to take them home, do you go clockwise or anti-clockwise? You just let it do what it does, Amanda. You let it do what it does. It, may, it might not even move at all, but it's usually you get something. Um, so yeah, so, you know, Lynn, like in terms of, like when you're talking about um, animals, right? When, you know, from meat and fish and all that. In that case, you don't want the spirit of the animal to still be in there. So, so what you would do is is thank the spirit of animal, thank the spirit of the animal. Okay, um, so that it it knows that it's appreciated and that you know it came to it came to this earth for that reason, right? Um, and so, what you'll also be doing is the energy of, of greed and uh, anger and fear, when you're clearing that, you'll also be removing that from the animal so that, you know, time is, is all here now. It's not linear like we think it is. And so what that will also do is it will um, have created the time of its passing to be far less traumatic. Right. And that's also something else that you can do if you decide to do this with food is ask that the trauma be removed. Any trauma. So, OK, so so Mel, you probably questioned it. So so you mean the second. So, Mel, when you did the water. In all since and time. Yeah, I do it. I do it back to uh, source. So, so Mel is, so the first bottle was good and the second bottle, not so much. Is that what you're saying? And if that's the case, it's okay. Come back and watch this again, walk through it again. 
Um, and if you don't freaking feel like it, just take a couple of drops from the original bottle and toss it in the second bottle and just keep making more, right? You can get a big gallon jug of water and, um, oh, space and time. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. When it, you don't like, you don't have to get that crazy with it. Um, but so just put a dropper or two in a gallon of water, Mel, and that's fine. Like you don't have to, you don't, it, it, you can make it easy, right? And so then, yeah, so, you know, all space and time, if you want to, you just, like, I don't want you to get all stuck on the words because then you lose the connection. So, like, if you're sitting there going, Oh, if I do this, okay, do I do all space and time? Do I need to include all incarnations? And now you're lost. Now you, you've you lost your connection. You've lost the intention and and the energy is not so strong. So um, Sarah said, <laughs> yay. So Sarah said her second one tasted even better because she added heaps more of good emotions. So that shows you something as well. So that's really cool, Sarah. I love that you did that. Yeah, I mean, like, I like to do things like um, prosperity, vibrancy, uh, you know, good money management, <laughs> uh, the, abil the ability to make good investments, um, stuff like that. So, it, you know, so maybe um, the next time you, you practice this on your own, make a list of all the <laughs> got stuck in my head. Yeah, that's, you know what, Mel, we all, we all go there. We all go there. And that's what I was just going to, that's what I was going to address with the next thing, right, is maybe make a list of all the emotions that you want to include in the water, all of the positive intentions you want to include in the water. So like, you know, if, if you took the notes already, you know, you, you know, your steps, if you didn't, um, we're going to upload this to YouTube at some point, but the replay will be here anyway. So, you know, you can come back and yeah, yeah, you know, I'm yammering, yammering, yammering. Okay, wait, pause. Let me take my notes. And, and you'll be cool. Um, but yeah, list maybe all the, the positive intentions that you want to include in your water so that every single time you transform, uh, you know, you neutralize and you transform, um, it's, it's transform into pure water and prosperity, vibrancy, good money managed, blah, blah, blah. Or like Sarah says, love, joy, fun, motivation, health, happiness, and prosperity, money. Don't forget the money. <laughs> so right. So um how do you how are you guys doing? Good night, Lynn. Thanks for being here. How do you guys doing? Does anybody have any questions? Are you good? You ready to roll? I don't wanna um just pop off if you have some questions. Everybody's good. Awesome. I'm excited. I thank you guys so much for being here. This was really a heck of a lot of fun. Um, I just, I, you know, I, I love when I can share these little techniques where you get immediate, like tangible results like this. Uh, so fun. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. You think you're okay? Perfect, perfect, perfect. I will see you guys on Facebook. Come back and watch the replay. Um, I'm glad you had fun. Uh, it, you know, invite your friends to watch the replay. You know, let let them let your friends come get good water too. So, all right, everybody. I will see you around. For those of you who are in 30K in 30 days, I will see you in there. Inner Empire, I will see you in there. Otherwise, I will see you here on my Facebook page. Bye, guys. Have a great night.